of the time. People are built to have sex. You can tell them all day long, don't have it, don't have it, don't have it. They will. The only thing that cures it is death. Okay? But nonetheless, the Republicans go on in their ridiculous ways. Oh, no, we just teach evidence. Anyway, then, limits access to abortion coverage. Of course, of course it does, because they're going to limit all of your reproductive rights, and then bans family uh, during abortion consultation. I want to talk about this one a little bit more. You know what this does? It isolates women when they're going to get, uh, you know, advice on uh, abortion from their doctor. It says you cannot bring family and friends. It's kind of what a, a perfect... St- a uh, stalker would do. See, isolate the woman. Get her away from everybody. Get her away from support. Get her, get her away from family and friends. And then, okay, we can have our way with her. Because the effort is to intimidate her into not getting an abortion. And let me give you more details about this. In that law, you uh, have to consult with the doctor alone, as I was telling you. Uh, you must undergo an exam, whether you want to or not. Doctors must determine if she's being pressured. Yes, she is being pressured by the government, by these stalker perverts in the Republican Party in Wisconsin. And then uh, doctors who break the law will face felony charges. Okay? So this is another attack uh, on women. That's why they wanted to keep it quiet. Hey, Scotty, I got a question for you. If you're so proud of what you do, then why are you trying to bury it on Thursday and Friday night before Easter? Why don't you proudly declare, I don't like, well, no, you claim you love women, right? Say proudly, uh, these are the things that are pro-women. Well, you can't claim that because it isn't true. That's why you're trying to hide it. So now uh, he says it's okay because he's on a Christian broadcasting network. Turns out God is on his side. Huh, let's listen. Well, we realize that, you know, all this is just you know, a temporary thing and, and you know, God's got a plan for us that, that who knows where it might be even beyond just being as, serving as governor of the state. But if we stay true to that, there, there's always comfort. And, and, and God's grace is abundant no matter what you do. Yeah, great. Another lunatic talking to God. Uh, what else did God whisper in your ear? Well, you know what? Speaking of lunatics talking to God, Francis Grady was one of the guys, or he was the guy, who did the uh, bombing at the Planned Parenthood in Wisconsin. And here's what he had to say. And why did you do it? Because they're killing babies there. Grady is referring to the clinic where legal abortions are performed. He even interrupted the judge during court, asking what the clinic does, quote, with the 1,000 babies they killed from that place. Well, when you think you're talking to God, you never know what God says back. So we've got to be careful about that. And here's what we do know. The laws passed are to try to intimidate women not to get abortions. Not God. And then they like wild people God, up and they say, oh! These abortion providers, they're the enemy, they're the enemy. And then when somebody does a bombing there, they go, oh, well, golly gee, nobody could have seen that coming. Well, we could see it coming, and we point it out on the show all the time. All right, now let me talk about the broader recall effort with Graham Zaleski. He is uh, the Democratic Party spokesperson in Wisconsin. All right, uh, Graham, thanks for joining us on the Young Turks. First, let me ask you. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, uh, let me ask you about uh, these 50 laws uh, signed into effect on Thursday and, and Friday. Um, you know, the idea of isolating women sounds so, you know, it, it, it looks scary. It looks like it's an intimidation tactic. So how much is the Democratic Party going to do to try to expose this? Well, you've got an election coming up in two, uh, two months, the recall. Well, the Scott Walker war on women is going to be one of the things we're going to talk about a lot. And you're absolutely right. Scott Walker wanted to do all this stuff under the cover of darkness. Um, you mentioned the bombing, uh, the attack on the Planned Parenthood clinic here in Grand Chute. Scott Walker tweets about what he's watching on American Idol. He tweets that he's eating chili with his wife. He hasn't been able to say one word about the attack on a women's health clinic that he tried to shut down, that he tried to defund. He went strangely silent. He goes before Fox News. He goes on these shows where he, he wraps himself in his, his fake piety. And then he's able to say plenty about his agenda and his self-righteousness. Yet when he has time to talk about this plan to isolate women, put them uh, away from their family when they're facing very difficult medical decisions or to defund Planned Parenthood or to make it harder for women who are rape victims to seek medical attention, he goes silent. So he's uh, very selective uh, when he wants to go in front of Greta.